You're listening to Two Babies in a Business, a podcast about business marketing, growth strategy, staff, clients, babies, and marriage. I'm Christina. This is Peter. We're founders and leaders of CIPR Communications. And this is a wrap on our website series, which is exciting. Final countdown. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like that today. Yeah, so it's the final series on website development. This one's a little bit different, though, because we're going to be talking today about website quality audits, which actually aren't really necessarily development projects, but they're um, but they're um, good audit projects that you may want to do ahead of doing a website project, especially if you are a company that um, has a larger website, um, you know, has a lot of pages on your, on your site, have been building a website for a long time, and now you're thinking about doing a redevelopment plan, um, you know, a website quality audit's a really good place to start. Um, also, obviously, it's, a, it's a, also something good for SEO in general, but uh, in context of website development, uh, Christina, can you uh, maybe explain the quality audit a little bit and help people understand why they might want to do this prior to doing I was going to make you explain it, but I guess I can explain it. Um, <laughs> I mean, basically, and this should surprise no one who knows me or works with me, you get a big spreadsheet, um, but it's more than that. So our, our SEO team really is looking at um, the quality of your website content from uh, data-driven lens, which I think is really interesting. Um, what they do, and we've done this for websites that have, you know, a couple dozen pages, uh, hundreds and hundreds of pages. It's a valuable exercise for ever, for wherever you're at in terms of your website piece. It's also been really valuable for us in terms of helping long time existing clients understand if they do indeed need to embark down the path of building a new website and starting from scratch, or if there's a great foundation there that just needs some tweaks. It's also been a great tool in terms of uh, building content for websites. So as a part of CIPR's website development process, we build content alongside the client and a website quality audit of an old site or an existing site allows us to really see what content is the most important. Um, and I think the other important thing, also our children are in the background. Yes, two babies in a business and it's a long weekend at the time of recording, so. Yeah. So those are our kids laughing. They're watching a movie, letting us do this, which is so kind of them. <laughs> so kind of us too. Um, but my third point on website quality audit. So great for existing clients, understanding if they need to do that website redevelopment, great as we're writing content uh, and you have an existing site so that we know what's resonating and what's not. And great in terms of like a kickoff to an SEO program. Um, so especially when a new website hasn't been developed, it's a really interesting thing to do going into an SEO program to evaluate, are there things that are working on the site that can be improved upon? Are there, there are things on the site that are potentially gonna hinder me from doing a great job on SEO? And something we can talk through together with that client before you make the big investment in an SEO program. I mean, basically what this, this uh, big spreadsheet does is show you um, traffic to pages, um, where it's ranking, why it's ranking, um, and then it starts to give some suggestions, right? So there's definitely pages where, you know, absolutely no ranking uh, in terms of where it's at, absolutely no traffic. And a lot of the times we end up saying, hey, let's delete this page. Um, it's not relevant. It's not driving anything. It's not ranking. Um, then you have kind of categorizations too, where we can come in and say, hey, uh, this page is really interesting because a lot of people visit it. And so we know that probably the information is important, um, but it ranks really low. So here's some things we can do to drive it up from a um, a page ranking perspective on a search engine like Google. And the third thing that it really does is kind of makes you validate where do you want traffic to go? So some of those really important pages on your sites, the ones that you would consider to drive revenue, um, that you would consider to be your big 
trust builders or the most pertinent information about your business or where you're trying to be experts. If we see that it's not performing well, there's not a lot of visitors, uh, it's not ranking, we know, okay, this is your business's goal. We've seen this, here's the updates that we can make. And so two things happen after that. Um, either we start to make changes or the client starts to make changes based on those recommendations, or we kind of stagger it over time. So obviously Google, we've talked about this before, likes to see people making changes on their websites every month. So this is one of those mechanisms that you can do that. So you have these priorities, you can chip away at it a couple of um, blogs at a time or a couple of content pages at a time. Um, actually, we were just talking to a client this week um newcomers canada um wonderful wonderful team they had a website quality audit done recently and we've kind of just split it up amongst client and cipr so we handle the seo for them um so we're going to take a few blogs and see if we can transform them as a part of the seo program and they're going to chip away on some of the blogs um, and content pages based on our recommendation so adding headers changing things up reposting adding some more relevant information and deleting a few that just don't resonate or make sense anymore. So lots of ways to tackle it, but really valuable information. Um, and whether it's a website development project or heading into an SEO program, I think it's a really valuable investment. And they're not, they don't break the bank. And for the information you get with them, um, really could put you ahead, in my opinion. Yeah, and, and I'd say a couple of things, like certainly if you're the kind of company that's been in the SEO game for a while, or if you have kind of some technical capabilities in-house in order to be able to implement some changes, it's a really nicely laid out document in terms of, so basically it's literally laid out uh, page by page of your website. Um, and then it has, you know, literally, you know, information about amount of traffic uh, each page is getting, amount of keywords that each page is ranking for, number of links built for each page, you know, whether they have, um, you know, the proper heading structure and, and meta tags and all that kind of stuff. So li literally just like lays out your entire website on a page by page basis based on the most important metrics, um, you know, need, you know, that we need to understand in order to you know, make good decisions. And then basically, uh, there's a whole column, uh, which is really what I would call an action column or a categorization column where you know, we categorize each page in terms of what needs to be done, you know, whether we need to build links, whether we need to, uh, you know, combine pages, whether we should just get rid of pages because they're not, you know, like Christina said, not adding value. So, I mean, it basically becomes a huge task list at the end of the day about, you know, what you should do with your website to make it work better from an SEO perspective really is what it comes down to, but also from a quality perspective because you know it, it's sort of uh like content quality perspective because um uh you know you might have some pages like as christina mentioned that are really important but you don't have enough words on them to actually ever uh meet any seo thresholds in, ter in terms of you know amount of, amount of content on a page to be to be picked up by google or whatever or uh, another situation is you've been doing seo for a really long time and you just keep pumping out content pumping out content um, you know, we're sort of, we're at a, we're, we, we believe as an agency that at some point, um, you know, there's a, a lot of value in going back and improving content, combining content, making super pages, better pages, you know, that sort of tell a whole story around some, you know, different content pieces, as opposed to just keep turning content out for the sake of turning content out. Um, you know, you can really now start to really like uh, narrow in on a page by page basis and make some really strategic decisions. Uh, about each website. And I think from a website redevelopment perspective, obviously, if you have a really, really big website, um, you know, to be to go from a really big website to building a brand new, really big website doesn't always make a lot of sense, right? Um, so even things like on a page basis, like, okay, you've got good traffic coming to your website, but it's got a 98% bounce rate on that one page, you know, maybe the content isn't relevant for your target audience, um, you know, or maybe it's just not a content, you know, maybe somebody wrote a piece of content for your website, you know, back in the day uh, to try to attract more, you know, uh, visitors to your website, but they're not relevant visitors. And so, uh, you know, and maybe that's preventing more relevant pages from being seen by Google because, you know, all the traffic's going to those ones, right? So literally, it's all very, very, it's all very technical. It's all very <laughs> technical. I, I feel like, we, you know, it took me a long time to understand that piece. But what I've said to people is, what, how many pages is your website going to have when this is all done? 
a thousand, two thousand. <laughs> when are you gonna stop? Right. And so you know, when you start talking about things like that, and if we go back to our house analogy, like how much stuff are you gonna fit in that house? Yeah. Like, like really, like people aren't comfortable anymore. People can't. Are decluttering, right? People, people can't find their way to the kitchen because they're stuck between boxes in the living room, and yeah. and so it just makes sense to kind of reflect on. What isn't relevant anymore? Remember, we did this site audit a few years back for um, a client who's still with us, and they had blogs about like you know the the weather update from 2013, and you know relevant to their industry. It was in the tourism space, and but it's like you don't need those blogs yeah. <laughs> anymore. Those are things that you can uh, just get rid of or or fold into something else, and you know, I think it's just thinking about it that way. And I think what else is interesting about looking at data always is it makes you think um, and put yourself in the other person's shoes. So you may think that pages are really needed and excellent and a great value add. And this tells the full story and it doesn't. And, you know, a report like this is able to just knock it down for you, right? Like, this is this is an important page in your mind, but like nobody else thinks it's important. So either one, it's not important, or two, you've done a poor job at getting people's attention here, or driving traffic here, or you know making it easy on your site to find this page. Uh, maybe it's buried too deep, or uh, you need to think about raising it up a couple levels, or or whatever it is. But I think it allows you to see your website from a different perspective, which is hard to do. So, you know, yeah. it, it's why I, I like the report from that perspective too. Yeah, I like it a lot. And I think it's pretty unique. I don't know, I don't know that too many agencies actually offer something like this. It's, uh, it is something that's quite uh, um, data-driven and technical, um, but it's sort of, you know, the person uh, who works with us who sort of put it together is, is a data-driven technical uh, guy who just like loves to nerd out on this stuff. And so, I mean, you get the benefit of a, a person who's literally been honing in on uh, this type of data for years and years and years trying to figure it all out. Uh, so actually for the price you pay, um, for the output you get and the amount of thought and knowledge that goes into this document, I mean, we're talking about it's like less than a thousand dollars to go through this audit, and I mean, you get depending this, on your site size. Depending on the site size, but you know, on average or roughly, usually around less than a thousand dollars, and um, and it, and it, and I mean, it's just like rich, rich, rich with data and information. That's that's really useful. So yeah, um, I think whether you 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 know go with an agency like ours to execute the recommendations that come out or you do it in house it provides you a really solid list of what needs to be done so you know our friends from uh one of our tourism destination clients they had one done they have a really smart robust team internally that are now executing on it um, and it's provided a great to-do list for a summer student <laughs> over oh. the last four months um yeah. so it it's very like you said data driven but like there is a project that comes out of it. Yeah. So, you know, think about it that way as well. Yeah. Nice. Website quality audit. Don't uh, don't think about SEO without one. <laughs> don't leave home without it. Um, awesome. Well, this wraps up websites, which is really uh, exciting. I feel like we covered a lot of ground from building a site map to, you know, auditing. I'm sorry. I need to just jump in with one more no. little thing. I'm not going to announce any details on this podcast, but... Uh, we did win two um, awards for uh, best website recently. We're very proud of that. Uh, web uh, web marketing awards. So little shout out to Christina and the team that executes at, at site CIPR. Um, two of our uh, clients uh, have award winning websites now. So it's pretty exciting. So I just wanted to throw that in there. A little braggy. Yeah, check out by time this airs, we will have some news releases on it. But um, yeah, check out our site for those and uh, our social media, but I'm pretty stoked. Uh, we found out uh, uh, yesterday, it's Saturday, we're recording this on a Saturday, we found out on Friday after work. Um, so yeah, it's a, I love a good award, so I'm yeah, happy. It's pretty exciting. It's a prestigious award, so it's great. Anyways, um, if you want to chat websites with either Peter or myself, you know where to find us. Feel free to send us an email or a message, set up a time. We love talking about this. An investment 
this is a huge investment in your marketing communications program. Um, and it shouldn't just be, hey, web developer, make me a website. Like it's a process as you guys have heard, learned from the past 13 episodes. So um, think about that, ask us questions, follow along on social media. Um, and yeah, I'm thank you, Peter, for talking about websites with me. Thank you. Bye.